Hello everyone. Well, continuing with our series of guiding first year students about how to approach the subject of anatomy. Today in this video, we'll talk about the histology diagrams. Now, this is something where uh, most of the students think that they're not able to score the, the way they should. Because let us say if there is a short note question on, on, on uh, a diagram of histology, then people are not able to score more than 2.5 or 3 out of it. And the reason is uh, probably we are trying to mimic the atlas of histology. Uh, see, first of all, whatever, whatever we see under the microscope to draw those things exactly the same way is, is literally not possible. So uh, that obviously is out of the picture. Majority of the histology, the, the true histology book, uh, atlases like the, uh, the histology atlas of Ross or other books like Jankura. Now they have given the real time pictures. And as I said, the real time pictures are, it's not easy to draw the same the way they look like. And even if you draw them, then you are not able to represent the feature of that particular cell. Then we have certain atlas in with the IB Singh and the books like uh, Defior Histology, like this picture is from the Defiors only. Uh, the problem with this kind of books is that if you try to draw it, first of all, it will take a lot, lot of time because there's too much of detailing in there. And secondly, maybe the view you want will not provide the enough information about the diagram. Like if you look at this picture, it's a picture of a trachea. It's a, it's a histological section of trachea. It's a computerized image, of course. Now, if I enlarge this picture for you, I cannot see the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium the way it should look like. I mean, I've marked, they've labeled it as pseudo stratified ciliated columnar, but it doesn't look like. So if let's say you're, if you're bound to draw something like that, then you make sure that you just make a circle around it and just draw a small inset and make the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium separately, draw three, four cells in there and at least uh, uh, represent this in your, in your, uh, answer sheet that okay you know how the epithelium looks like sometimes too much of a schematic diagram is also not helpful in um, histology and the color coding the ears and the hematoxylin what kind of stain how much of shade they got to use that is that becomes very very important now you will also find these kind of uh, uh, pictures or diagrams given in many textbook but this is something which obviously is not acceptable because first of all, the color coding is not correct. They've been using a different color, like the brown and the reds are there. And you've got to stick with the, the eosin and the hematoxylin stain only. Secondly, uh, in, this is a very incomplete picture. All the information is too much there. Like they have written about the pseudo stratified epithelium, about the types of uh, receptor cells, the seromucous glands, the hyaline cartilage. But even if, if, if you look at any of these things, like if you look at the mucus in the serous gland, the nuclei are missing here and the nuclei are missing obviously then it will not be considered correct because the nuclei is the thing that you are able to see under the microscope correctly. Again, if you look at the hyaline cartilage, I cannot see any territorial or interterritorial matrix. Again, I cannot see the chondrocytes in the lacuna. I cannot appreciate the cell nest. The pericondrium doesn't look like the way it is. So though the information is there in this picture, so you will obviously fetch some marks out of it, but you will not be able to score well in the diagram like this, where the information is there, but obviously they are not correct and neither they're complete. My suggestion to you when it comes to the histology diagram is the first thing you should do is draw the diagram in a circle. Make a circle because that will limit your area. I mean, if you, if you start drawing a diagram like this, let's say you start from the epithelium and then you keep drawing and then you don't know how much of space you're going to occupy on that page. And then again, that is like you're probably wasting too much of time in that, just giving a the different shade to the different type of epithelium and th that could be a bit too much. Now I just drew one schematic diagram for you. Just pardon me for the for the colors here because I'm limited with the availability of for the uh, of the color. But if you look first of the thing I did is I just drew a circle with it. I actually limited my area that I want to show all the features of the trachea in that circle itself. Number two, whatever the major features we have for that particular slide, like when I think of let's say trachea, the epithelium, the seromucous gland, the trachealis muscle, the hyaline cartilage. These are the main thing which are present in there. So I need to make sure that whatever I read in general histology, I'll be, I'm able to apply it. If I'm drawing the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium, the cilia should be very clear. I should see the nuclei present at a different level. The goblet cell could be seen, the mucus inside it should be visible. If I draw the serous and mucus acinus in the mucus acinus, I can see the flattened and the basal nuclei. I can see the rounded nuclei in the serous acinus. In the hyaline cartilage, I should be able to see the chondrocytes present in the nest. I can see the territorial matrix, the perichondrium, the chondroblast. So 
whatever the features that you write about those that slide they should be visible in your in your in your diagram also so it's not about how fancy a diagram you'll draw what your drawing skills are it's about if you are able to, whether you are able to represent your theoretical knowledge in the diagram also and this is this is one place where you can really score well and as i already said that the people are not able to score well in the histology diagram is because they try to copy the atlas image which is never a good idea use the knowledge of general histology and just apply it there you know the five seven important points about that slide make sure those things are very much visible on the slide so when your when your answer sheet is being checked that examiner will just uh, you can grab the attention of the examiner to those points itself